so what is this video this video is to show you how to modeling the parametric bench so we add a cube we make it this shape we deform it we add some cuts like this we add to the bottom on subdivision we add cuts we add solidify after this part is done we go to unwrapping we unwrapping we add bevel and we make a render studio so if you are interesting watching this tutorial good luck Uh, first, uh, we go to Pinterest and uh, we search for parametric bench and you can choose which one do you like. I choose this one. It's great. And we go to Blender. We crop the screen and go to Image Editor. Go to Open. Find the files like this one as a reference image. Uh, this is first time uh, doing this tutorial, and I'm going to show you the whole uh, workflow how to do it. First, uh, we add a cube. Pretty hard, huh? <laughs> and uh, for example, this dimension, I cannot draw there, uh, but uh, it should be 40 centimeters. And uh, we go to, to item and make it 40. For example, this area needed to be around uh, 60, 60 centimeters by frame. For example, uh, this part of the bench needed to be 20 centimeters. We extrude it. And for example, this part I think it should be. What do you think? 19. This is 14 plus fif uh, 15. After this, we extrude it, extrude it uh, somewhere around to make it 2 meter. Two meter. <coughs> and uh, we had to cut, I think. Uh, But I'm gonna keep this. If this don't work, I can use the one I hide it. And uh, for example, this is going like this flow. And we start this part to be more down. This part like this. This part should be more up. I need a one extrusion, especially like this. And now it's a complete 19 degree. It should be more. We use number part one, three to move it. We grab it like this. We 
just move it. As you can see, this is something rounded. We add this, go like this, and as flow, we go up in Z somewhere. We save it. And uh, we make subdivision. As you can see, it's creating the shape. So I always need one. One low. Also one here. Alt, Alt S. We just scale this one a little bit. And uh, this should be more down. For example, you can see the vertices here. Just make this one unable. And you can see the whole geometry. For example, like this to go the flow of the body. Just make more thickness. If you don't like to use this, just press this and you can work in poly. I think this shape doesn't match with our shape, so it's simple. With a control, you can select from this point to this point with G and U. To make something like that one. From this point to this point, G and move it in Z axis. I think this should be more up. Or from this to this. And we did it. Just kidding. Now we need to add planes. For example, to cut the object something like this. Now we save. 
and place the cursor here, press shift and uh, shift and uh, with mouse with right with shift R or add a plane rotate in x 19 degree or something and make the to fit something like this we save scale to make one 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 also the rotation zero zero one one because it work more correctly we add the uh, ROI modifier uh, don't forget this is my first time doing this one I sometimes forget things for example Blender Guru when he make tutorial uh, he's professional in Blender and uh, he wants to keep uh, things simple and uh, he has the sport but uh, I'm showing you for example with this one we cannot for example move it in this axis with this modifier because it doesn't go it go only this way and this way this way nine but when you had uh, this one it worked now it took me uh, one hour to learn this thing and uh, for example this should be uh, no I cannot try this one for example this board should be somewhere four centimeters so what we do for example we go in U axis mm -hmm. We make zero here, zero pixel are four. We change the units from meters to centimeters, and from Europe and uh, here we use uh, centimeters. I think should go minus four to add it in this way, and. For for example, this one should be thickness to two. This is somewhere two centimeters. So we had a uh, we had uh, solidify with two and thickness. Always uh, save the file. For for example, two. Now should be minus uh, six. If uh, this gap is more, later on we can make it five or until it look good. We remove that on. Because uh, it's uh, pretty hard for the computer to calculate things. First, we add this add on, it comes with Blender, it's a uh, it's pull tool, it, uh, it's an uh, amazing add on. You can uh, watch in YouTube more about this add on but uh, I'm keeping simple things so first you select this one and select this one and uh, press the shift and with control and uh, 
minus in the number part. As you can see, it created this, this shape. We added more. But uh, be careful this one because it can crash a blender. So save a file. We unhide it. Oh no. We unhide it, this one. We make it more until it fit all area. But don't go all around because here is not too good. Make it uh, 38. Go to this one and make it visible. And okay, let's try to make it for uh, two. As you can see, now we add the uh, solidify. As you can see, now we added uh, two centimeters. Sentimenters, something is not working here. Make it for the make five, make ten. Just wanted to add a cube. For example, this cube is ten centimeters and uh, it's, it's in shape, but just Apply scale and um, now as you can see the object wasn't in right scale so now we make it two I think uh, we should make this gap more close to each other so we just go to this one this young boolean tool and from minus Six, we make it uh, minus five, and now we save the file. File save, we just added more for two to forty six. As you can see, sometimes the shape is not good, but we don't care. And <clears throat> what we do now, just as control S. Oh, now, now, we just grab this one and this one. This one and this one, shift D, hard, because, as you can see from this poly to this it's amazing now enable modifiers if we try to bevel it's impossible to do that thing because I have made the uh, As you can see, a lot of tutorial like this one, this one, but uh, it don't bevel. So what we do? We save a file. Okay. Now we apply.
delete this one. Now we don't need this one. Let's control out X for disease. Also, this one we don't need. Even this one. I just want to also this one. So this is not the right the right shape. Now you select this one with shift G normals. Select all of the Thing that are in normal with this way. Normal. First, we with M by distance, remove our normal, go this way, normal, go to edge, control P. Just wanted to try it if we can add a mold with free fire. I separate this one to add double, and I think it's possible. Okay, let's make this one always out of the file. It saves auto automatically, but uh, why not to do it? Hmm. It's working. So, everything has bubble, and I think you know this part. Because bowel to make uh, things more realism because it reflects the lighting. I don't know. It's it's make it make more realistic. Whenever it possible, you should add bowel. Now. <clears throat> I think we should make it more more small. Let's make it tall for two centimeters. I think this is enough. We add four to make it more rounded. And we just save a file. What we do next? For example, this board we connect each other. For example, they all of them are separated. How to do it? This or just this? Add a cylinder. Scale it. Make it two. Or X. 19, go to this view, select this one, in Wi-Fi mode, G. Now we just scale in here until, nice. I'll say just add a plane on G I 
I'm using uh, Planta Kit add-on. This is not a sponsor import. They are pretty amazing. They have uh, 50,000 models. Also, materials. 4,000 materials. They have amazing radars. Big thanks to them for giving us some free materials. Now we move to Planta. I almost forgot. Just click this button and you download it and install it. Now we go here. We need to add a HDR. We go to Studio. This one. Make it free uses free. I like this one. Save it. Cycles. Okay. And now it's created. What we do now, now we are going to unwrap it. Just want to make a cli render. Just adding a random material. I think it's looking great. Of course, I'm trying to make it this faster, but if we add it more precise things, for example, this to touch the ground, or this part, or you can go more slow and make it better than me. Now, we are going to unwrap it. How to wrap this one? Select this one. This one should be normal. You mark scene. Now we need to close this one. You we editor. Okay, select all, you unwrap. For example, this one, I go with this one like snake, it's not good. We add the uh, first go and just make it off make it one cut but we want to make it behind one scene for everyone
I hope there to be a faster part. I am tired too. Yo, Marxin. No. We are not it. As we can see now, our right. Now, what do we do? Go to Plandicate. Wood. Try to make it the same. I can search all night here. Uh, it's never ending. <laughs> I can try this one. It's large. Just grab it and move it and wait for downloading. We go to shader. You can see it's not position it correctly it's a mess here normal Move it that way. All of them we rotate it until it goes this way. The wood. This one. And now. You can see it's separating. Well, what's happening?
for example, it should look like this one. You grab this one. I don't know what the cut is here. <laughs> I think we should go one by one. We go shift G normal control L. Unwrap it. I am smart guy. <laughs> As you can see, is this texture is repeating. Put uh, select this one and uh, I hope I know this how it should work. I find it. Now we just make the scale until it fit. Now it's not repeating. It will look more realistic. I just go here and we enable. Save it. Shade editor. Object. As you can see, the crater added some hue effect. So, hide everything. Go to zero. White. Oh, it's looking amazing. Now we just make a render. So thank you for watching. That's shame. I think uh, I will add uh, this chair in my blender market. So there you can find it and uh, download it. So guys, thank you for watching and. Uh, See you in another tutorial when I show tricks uh, how to use Blender. Bye.